And hello, hello, good morning, and welcome to another wonderful day of Triforce Blitz. We are here to see game two of Purple versus Oxman, and I am here with my co-com, Chuckles. Chuckles, how are you doing this morning? Hey, Sadie. Hey, chat. We got some zoots for you today. We've got more Triforce Blitz with Purple and Oxman. I'm doing great. I hope you're doing okay as well, and I hope chat is fine as always. Yeah, this is going to be an exciting matchup. We were just double checking. So did you find who had won the first matchup between these two? It was as I thought. It was Purple who took the victory in the first game. Um, that was the match that was double. There was a double restream uh, at the time. And Purple and Oxymon went into fire really early on. It was, I think it was like path fire. And they, like, kind of just walked into a Triforce piece. It was quite funny. Um, well, yeah, we'll see if they too. get that lucky this time. Um, yeah. So this it's does mean when you that just it's... Walk a... into a Triforce piece. <laughs> yeah, no, no, exactly. Exactly. Um, so this does mean that it's a little bit of do or die. Oxman has to win this game in order to still be in this tournament. Um... So it's it's gonna be a great great matchup today, and we do have a water medallion start with Zelda's lullaby, which is pretty awesome to begin with. Yeah, nice little ZL start. So fairy fountains are gonna be done straight away. We don't need to think about kind of needing ZL for water or shadow or things like that. Um, and yeah, the medallion I guess it doesn't matter as much in these settings, but okay, blue's a nice color I guess. All right. So, oh my gosh. Okay, Oxman went through that fast. I'm pretty sure I saw Shadow on there, but beyond that, I don't know. <laughs> and Power is a one step, Wisdom's a two step, and Courage is a five step. Kak is path to Wisdom. So, this is going to be fun. So, we've got some low paths. Potentially, we've got some early dungeon access, uh, and the pieces are in there. Um, it could be one of those things where, you know, one or two, you're kind of looking for DC, kind of looking for those really low entry dungeons, but you never know, it could just be deep adult spirit and things like that, so. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting one. Um, I'm hopeful that we see all three of our pieces today, um, but we'll we'll just have to see what happens. And we are going to be starting out in Kakariko, so let's keep our eyes peeled to see if there's anything useful for us here, or where that useful item is. Yeah, adult cart, your very kind of standard traditional kind of start here. I think with the 5-2-1, the so overall there are only seven pathings, and that it, that's including if they're all unique as well, there might be overlap. So we might see the runner rush to hit to try and get those paths as quickly as possible, because in reality you could get yourself a spoiler log just by checking out the, the hints here. Yeah, because with um, numbers this low, that means every single item on those paths is going to be hinted, right? As long as they're... Yeah. Yeah. I had yeah. to think about that for a second. <laughs> yeah, we get we get 10 paths, one Wanderer, and then two Five Fortunes as well. So we're going to be seeing quite a few Wanderers, I think, today. Hopefully we don't see any sometimes hints. That will really be Monkeress. Uh, and there's Cac Wanderer. So, Cack Path and Cack Wanderer. So, um, there are items in Kakariko. That's what we can confirm today. <laughs> we are certainly going to see some items today. Maybe they'll even be good items. Who knows? Yeah, you never know. There might be some base items. There might be some good items. There's, hey, there's those items. are those are clearly a path to Gobi Bongo Bongo. <laughs> Oh, and this is fun. Yeah, vanilla storms. Um, especially with the one and two count, like bottom of the well would be kind of screaming to me about now. Yeah, I think we have pack with the path of wisdom as we pick up magic on Andrew as well. That might be the one where I think you're right. The wisdom could very easily be in bottom of the well, maybe bomb locked. We did start with ZL, so there's two already. ZL and. Uh, after wisdom being storms, might just be ZL locks. Yeah, ZL locked is really what I'm wondering for that wisdom piece. Um, but again, like they can kind of be 
about anywhere with these path counts. Power is a little limited, but... Mm. I think knowing that it's a really low uh, Triforce piece count, you've really got to be thinking, well, I can probably get all three in the two hour period. So rushing that low piece one is not as important, say, if it was like a 1715 one, because you're going to pick probably pick all three and that's what you've got to be aiming for. But I think maybe I would, if I was to make a decision, I think after Kakariko, I probably would have avoided this graveyard section and gone straight into the well um, to see what that storm is going to unlock for me. Yeah, and picking up those child checks along the way, like um, getting the chickens off of Anju, like those aren't horrible things to do as well on the way to the well. Yeah, especially with Kak being double, uh, double pack at the moment for one wonder and one path, so yeah, there's a fair option to do chickens there as well. That's the, they're both in Dampe, they're both getting fireballs chucked at them. Did have a, a couple of a couple of blasts from Dampe, um, but we'll get in there in more than enough time to spare. Yeah, definitely not the nicest Dampe race that I've seen. We've had people bumping into walls, we've had people lighting on fire. <laughs> Dampe loves to burn men and children if you're doing this as child link. <laughs> so, uh, we went through that whole race and all Link got was a t-shirt. Yep, I beat Dampe t-shirt. It's red in colour and it also protects you from really high temperatures, which is just a convenience. Um... Well, you know, whenever you're racing and you, you get kind of overheated, like, it's it just wicks that heat right off of you. Yeah, and currently where I am at the moment, it is very, very warm. I am sweltering at the moment, so I would really want a Goron tunic myself at the moment. I, I am in the Midwest right now, so I am feeling the heat as well. <laughs> yeah, it just seems to be hot everywhere, which is not surprising considering it is summer. All right, we're getting a look at this composer grave. I, it seems like sometimes in these races, people are kind of like overlooking the composer grave. Yeah, I know there's been at least one race where it was bake or break. It's picking up the songs are, are really powerful. We're still even in these settings. You're either picking up child songs that unlock checks, or you're picking up really important warp songs that are really good for movement. Like picking up Minuet here would be absolutely huge and be a massive boon to, to purple. So I, yeah, I'm totally up for collecting the song. And we're getting a Zora River peak from Oxman. Uh, nothing so far on the river. Yeah, this is kind of the, the rush for the hints that we said before. And look at that! I just have a hey. nap just knowing what things are going to be. I'm so like, I just... Just, just good. Put away the spoiler log chuckles. <laughs> Can't Don't do it when I'm actually racing it. myself. Like, but when I'm watching people, I have the spoiler log all the time. Uh, Zora's River is full. Ah, okay, well. In Zora's River, incredible. River Foolish does love to pop up in River, as we also find that Ice Cavern is back to Wisdom, Courage, sorry, and there was a Wanderer, which was it Inside Gans Gans Castle. Castle? Was Wanderer, so that's something. So if Ice is path to Courage, then we already know three, well, two of the five steps because you need ZL and Ruto's letter to get into Ice Cap. So there, they are two of the five steps as Jabba is foolish. And then whatever is in Courage is going to be, or in Ice Cap is going to be your third. Ravage Village is Pona's. More Templars foolish. And then it'd be an ice cavern, it could be the song, it could be something like Requiem, it could be something like, I don't know, that probably is the only one that could be. DC is also path to courage, so there's something in Zongo's cavern as well.
Yeah, the water about temple you. is also <laughs> foolish. Yeah, water and Jabu being foolish is kind of par for the course. <laughs> we see that quite a lot in Triforce Blitz, but it's nice to have that confirmation again. I was just thinking, like, DC is Path of Courage, but we don't have any access to DC. Well, and oh, there's our Stone of Agony. Um, and there's our Strength, so there's our access. Okay, and Purple does have Nocturne, so could have played Nocturne and push that DC, um, but has decided to save quit and might be going shy. Going shy. Yeah, I I don't think that that's a terrible call. You can go get those well checks, go get those child checks, um, and then from there, from there, I'm not sure. I guess go back adult and go do DC. Yeah, I think I would have probably dipped into DC. You may find Ruto's letter uh, in DC because we know that we need to get into Ice Camp. So it might have been nice in this child section to have Ruto's letter to hand into King Tora. So then you don't need to worry about like backflipping over King Tora. You just run across. Um, Ocarina of Time is Prelude today. And Fortress is also foolish from purple side. So we're getting a lot of hints really early on, a lot of information. As Oxman decides, he's going to take a dog back and maybe get a bit of a reward. I think he's going to get five rupees. I think that's an adequate reward for bringing. I bet it'll be a piece of heart. And it's a stick. Well, the dog brings back the stick. The stick gives it to you. It's kind of, you know. Like a Link's Awakening's like trade quest going on. Um, extreme. We did not catch any of the medallions. Oxman just like sped through them and has not looked at them again since. Yeah, we have no clue. <laughs> and here's that well dip that I was calling. So purple going to show us what's in bottom of the well. At least. Not bomb lock. Yeah, so we did say right at the start that it might be a good idea to rush bottom of the well, bearing in mind that we found storms in the wisdom location and we have ZL. Um, can also peek the bomb lock checks as well. So we'll wait and see if there is a piece collectible in bottom of the well. And if it is, it'll probably be a wisdom piece. There's a large piece below the water, so that's ZL lock. Mm. There we go. That's our predictions already. And here's one of the peaks that we can do. Remember, it's chest uh, chest appearances matches content. So sizes and textures um, and all the bomb lock checks. You can actually just roll through the walls in the bottom of the well because the walls are thin in the bottom of the well. And oh, and here's another... another. Let's this would only be one though, so this is not the piece. And it's magic! That was not magic locked, so that magic that we found is probably going to be our wanderer. Yep, that makes sense. But then I guess. What would it be wanderer for though? Interesting. What would we need magic for? I mean, the Wanderers, if anybody's played Tripod Glitch, people know that the Wanderers can send you on some bonkers directions to get you um, to complete the seed. You can go left, right, center, even though you've already got an item to do what you want. And bomb choose! So I guess you get to full clear, never punish. That's, well, yeah, the choose are nice. But you'd be slightly disappointed if you were purple. You were probably thinking that was going to be piece one, 13 minutes in. Um, so, bit of a shame, but there's still more Z lock, Z L lock checks here. We've got dead hand and the back here, which is invisible. But it's only going to be a key.
Oh, and grab by the dead hand. Yeah, please don't die to the dead hand, because that would be very sad. Oh, purple just keeps getting grabbed. Yeah, purple playing it safe, waiting for dead hand to go back into his hole. And we'll see if this is a big chest or not. Hold your... Does that, mean logi <laughs> Does that mean logically need a Kokiri sword? Uh, in these settings, there is no... Uh, the trick for dead hand without Kokiri sword is on. So okay. it's logical just in sense. Um, we do have small keys that are ZL locked, so it might just be in the, the back of the dungeon. Or it uh, could be here. Oh, wait. Nope. We already opened that chest. That was the I got excited. <laughs> yeah. I, I got These so big excited for a second. Like, oh <laughs> no, I, I completely understand. Okay, purple going back to the coffin uh, to see what's in there first. As Oxyman is doing Ocarina minigame, which there are. Oh! Oh, this oh. is a big chest. And it's a big savvy. Wow, this is just disappointment after disappointment. And it's not even a good item. <laughs> well, a big Goron Sword's nice, but it's not it's... anything that's going to blow open the seed. No, yeah, and that is that is what is disappointing so far, is that like none of these items we've found... I mean, bomb twos are helpful. It's really nice to have bomb twos this early, especially going into... Um, DC next, which is where I presume purple will go pretty soon, but it could be nicer. Yeah, bomb shoes, you know, maybe it's only, I don't think we've seen how many it is, it might only be five, so it might not be overly great. Um, but this is kind of our last opportunity with a quarter of a heart left. Please do not fall foul to any of these keys because we'll lose your shield. And <laughs> people uh, die. Oh, come on, Purple. Be very, very careful. Oh, oh there's a big cat. Here we go. Cross your come fingers on, again. Is it going to be it? It's a bomb bag. Okay, that is a better item. But still not the Pride Force piece, so... Yeah, decidedly, start... like, not the piece we wanted to see. Yeah, we need to start really thinking about that um, path, potentially, storms now. Maybe there's other storms checks around here. You know, the DMT storms check, Frogs 1, that actually unlocks them. Or maybe the bomb bag unlocks it. Maybe it's... Storms, but that Storms bombs to something or it's else. Here. It's yes, here. There's a piece. <laughs> okay, so that is uh, that is storms locked, but also strength slash bomb locked. The bomb so, bag is ZL locked because there's a key in the ZL locked location. So it's not that bomb bag that we saw in Bottom of the Well. So that's our wisdom piece. Yeah, Purple taking the lead, as they did in the seed uh, in game one, taking an early lead. And whether Red Optimum goes to the bottom of the well, probably soon-ish, but that's going to be behind. Alright, and Purple's going to go ahead and get Andu back her poor chickens. Only have to do three in these settings. But you might as well full clear your path locations. Yeah, definitely. I, I, I agree with this. I think, especially with it being any, what, three chickens, I think it is, with these settings. Um, yeah, it's nothing. You might as well just rock out and, and get on with it. Yeah, yay. Oh. 
Yay bombs is definitely the mood. Um, we'll make a lot of things easier for our runners. I think I bombs think... are the best early game item to get. Yeah, it definitely really opens up the seed for you. I mean, it can be a bit of a you know, double-edged sword because it opens lots of checks, but sometimes it gives you too much direction early on, too many options, um, and that can be people's downfall sometimes. Oh. And it's a Kokiri sword! <laughs> Maybe. So Kakariko was Path to Wisdom. Yeah. And we found that piece. But. Interesting. I'm not sure how much I would trust that Kokiri sword, given that we've already found a piece along the path. Well, we haven't found a path of power yet. We have not. We have not found a single path of power. And we're only going to get one, and that is. Sphere Zero. So, Deku Tree is one path at the moment. So, there's a likelihood that we see the Deku Tree potentially holding the power piece. We do also get two hints if we go over by Deku Tree. So, if that's where Purple wants to go next, I don't think that's a horrible call. At the least, yeah. Purple will get some good information. Yeah, I mean, no, Deku Tree is kind of loaded with stuff. So,. Oh, Purple doesn't want to get stuck here because you can't get out. But you can save it. That's a smart thing. As Oxyman follows Purple into the well, but it's going to be behind picking up this piece. Probably it's going to take maybe five more minutes for Oxyman to pick up this piece. So, um, as we expect that, Oxyman will do the same loop of beating Dead Ant first before getting the base on. We did indeed get a carry sword on child chickens and jacks, so we are currently heading into the deck. I am excited to see what these pieces are going to be out here. Or uh, yeah. what these hints are going to be. God, not what these pieces. Hints are be. <laughs> no, I, I'm kind of excited. We might get some nonsense always hints. There we go, there's one of them. 20 is dead. Not overly exciting. So, only collecting 10 schools today. And let's see what this other hint's going to be. Is it going to be Cat Path to Power? Cat Path to oh, Power? Cat Path. Cat Path. Bottom of the wall is Path to Courage. Whoa! Okay. That is the really bomb fun. bomb back. Yeah. So let's try and work out this Courage Path now. So a bomb bag is ZL locked. So Storms. ZL. Bomb bag. Because we know DC is Path to Courage as well. Then... So maybe Ruto's letter is in DC, and then whatever is in Ice Cavern could be our fifth. Uh, Which could very cavern. well be like I any number of objects. Could be a hook shot to get into a fire or to get into a forest. Could be a hammer for something in fire. Like there's, there's a number. But yeah, I, I bet that that is what we need to do. Is we need to head to DC and from DC head out to Ice Cavern. Yeah, yeah, that sounds right. We do have a big chest in the Deku Tree. Herbal climbing up the vines before picking up the, the chest. When you lose by five seconds, you'll realize that open this is, is the best way to go. And there it is! And there is our piece of power. So yeah, that uh, Kakariko path of power is going to be somewhere. What are you going to do with the rest of your afternoon, Sadie? Because I think we're going to be we're going to be done quick. I think. I think. <laughs> well, well, like like I said be before we came on air, I I'm starting to feel a little bit under the weather, so I am looking forward to like laying down and sleeping if my cats allow me. I currently have a cat right in front of my face between me and the microphone. 
<laughs> which is Excellent. really, really making my congested sinuses like A plus, A plus kit. Wow, so they're just kind of double illness going on. Oh yeah, yeah, my allergies are insane. <laughs> Got gotta gotta love your furry creatures in your life. <laughs> okay, so purple ditch the ditch Deku. Decided by Deku after picking the power piece, which I think is smart. Um, and I yeah, think well, this is the quickest way to get one. Especially whenever you know that whatever you need next is in DC, it's like just just go, just drop what you've got. You have all of the information you need to beat this, so you might as well just go chase it now. Yeah, and if you were kind of able to pick this apart with the strength we found in the uh, Kokiri Forest. You would know that actually what you need in DC isn't in the first four chests, and is actually in the bomb lock chest in um, Stongus Cavern. So maybe we make the big brain play and light the choose with the uh, light, light the Stongo face with the choose and rush the two bomb lock checks there rather than going all the way down. Yeah, that is definitely what I would do. Um, because that that was actually exactly what I was thinking, like, with that strength, that, like, we aren't going to see an item early on. You might as well just bomb to the eyes, get into that back half of DC as quickly as possible. The only thing that might be a problem with that is that the hood wall check above the bridge, or where the bridge is, is bomb locked, but also could be just ammo locked, so you're kind of pulling a risk there um, if that mud wall up on the bridge check is something. Um, so we'll see what purple does. I think either decision is, is reasonable. So Oxman got that Triforce piece. Um, interestingly, hasn't picked up the bomb bag yet. Ooh, really? Ouch, that's. Yeah. So let's that's hope. Oh uh, yeah, Oxman got the shoes, but has not picked up the bomb bag. Oxy's going back in. Oxy is going back in. Okay, herbal. Dash in his way to DC. Still no shield, but that's fine. We don't need a shield. Who needs a shield? Who needs a shield? Well, especially against King Dodongo, like, you don't need a shield. No. And if this is going to be our first and only bottle, we're going to need to go child and in Ruto's letter for us to actually do anything in ice. So we're probably going to see a bit of a. The trek. Okay, we're gonna have to go back to adult, back to child, back to the template time, change to child, and then walk all the way up the river to hand in the letter. Go back to <laughs> the temple of time, which we need to walk there from Nocturne. So I think the next the um, purple picks the suspected letter from DC. We might see about. 10 minutes of auto scrolling of, of walking. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm also already bracing myself for that very real possibility. Um unless unless it decides to be nice and like give us a second bottle in DC, then we can just skip all of that and just go week skip. Yeah, if we pick up a just an empty bottle, <laughs> then that would be absolutely fantastic as we get a seven year high five. Oxybin has a problem, and the problem is it's night time. And Andrew, for I know we, we love Andrew, she, but she can't the, uh, touch the chickens unless it's night time. She's able to put the chickens away at night, just not in the daytime. So 
Oxman is not going to pick up the Kikiru Sword at the moment, but maybe the time of day will change on the mountain. He'll go back to pack. And who knows if Oxman finds a bomb bag up here somewhere while wandering around waiting for time of day. Oh, nope. Just heading back down. Ah, very good. So just peeking at that DMT, DMT top. It wasn't that far away from daytime. And Oxy is going to probably pick up the Kikiri Sword here. Weasel, what you talking about? There is no such thing as Child DC. We all know that. Child DC is just a myth. Yeah, Child DC is dead. Very sad. <laughs> just a sad experience. It would save some age changing though, which is pretty nice in this case. Yeah, it is quite interesting that we just never see that loop of Dodongo's cavern in Rando. That's just like there are just certain rooms in Rando that you just never see that you would see in the vanilla game and anything past the that hallway with the baby Dodongos is just not seen. Yeah, I actually um, was doing a practice run and just sort of wandering around and I got to that back room and it's like, oh yeah, I forgot this was here. Yeah, there are four Lazalfos that you're supposed to kill in Stonkers Cavern. And in Rando, we kill zero of them. Yep, they're just hopping around being happy lizards in the back rooms. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Like, I'm ready to get him. I'm ready to kill him. And it's like, nah. I, I can, I'm tall. I can climb. Like, have y'all been, have y'all been practicing your sab moves? He's gonna get here any time. So, Purple did do what we, um, said, um, did the tube strap to, uh, do the eyeballs of the big statue, I would say, of King Dodongo. I don't really know how a lizard without any opposable thumbs was able to make a statue of himself, but... Purple's going to do these two checks first. And hopefully... Well, that's why you get minions who do have opposable thumbs. Uh, Goron's the minions, is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> I just saw minions too, so all, all of this is just hilarious. And oh. there's Rudo's letter! What a shocker! It's who Rudo's could letter. have guessed? <laughs> And purple is out of there. Yeah, purple knows that that's what we were looking for. Just like, you know what? I'm just going to ditch this. I'm chasing that last piece. Time to go, child. I know we've been playing for like 30 minutes. We've not been playing a very long time. But honestly, I think purple has not made a single incorrect decision this season. I think everything that they've done has just been really well thought out from going into the Toad's grave and getting that mini wet to going to Kiri Forest really quickly, from rushing the well, from, you know, going to DC and skipping on all of the dungeons on someone gets the second piece. Purple has been really playing really, really well. Think about the computers. Yeah, Purple has been giving us an absolutely fantastic showing here. Um, and depending on what items out in Ice Cavern, like, is there an item that could be out there that could save Oxaman or give Oxaman a chance to catch up, do you think? I think there could be some really interesting things that we could find. I mean, it could be really simple. Um, and this is not actually what I was trying to think of. What are we going to find in... Um, in ice, like it could be some form of spirit access. Maybe it's requiem. It could be something dumb, like the mirror shield, and there are no strength lock strength there, and we just have to go and find two strengths. And we're bas basically in a casino for those two strengths. So oh, that would three. be nasty. I don't know what is what is, what is chat thing. Okay. 
So we do have a prediction up for what item are we going to find in ice? Um, what are the options? options the options are, are hookshot, bow, a fire source, hovers, strength, requiem, or something else. I'm I'm gonna dump my money. I'm gonna I'm gonna put some moolah on. I'm gonna put ten thousand channel points on Requiem. Well, I'm dropping a thousand channel points on a hookshot because that was the Whoa! first thing that I said. Spicy! Yeah. yeah that that was the first sense. thing that I said I thought would be in there, so... Weasel wants Frank. With it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, uh, God. Gabby Gabby was, was foolish. foolish. <laughs> so... And this is the last item. This is the last of the path route, because we are we're going to know all five uh, steps in this path after we've picked up this item. I think a hook shot basically is telling you that um, that it might be in forest. I think forest would be a smart move. Um, forest access isn't a step. Probably uh, because the Nuets areas are uh, available. Access would also be open by a hook shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, Which you know, would be a little bows. nasty. Yeah, bows and, you know, we've already got a strength, so maybe there are other strengths out there. So, forest somewhere in forest could be, could be smart if it's a hook shot. If it's a hammer, you know, you're looking at, you're looking at fire temple, aren't you? We know water is foolish. There's too many steps for it to be in shadow. If you find a requiem, a mirror field, another strength, maybe you're looking into spirit. I don't think it can be a strength though. I'm not sure um, because the other strength isn't a path in. So why would this random strength in ice be a path in? And there's a sometime tent. There is a sometime tent. That means there are not enough Paths and Wanderers in the playthrough to fill up all the 10 slots, slash 11 slots. And Purple trying to figure out the fastest way back to Temple now that he's handed in that letter. Yep, it is still Nocturne and walking <laughs> and also we're gonna have to wait for time of day because it's night time as well as optimum takes a dip in the moat i don't know how optimum fell in but maybe they just wanted to swim probably pretty hot in hyrule this time of year oh yeah it looks hot like look at all that yellowing grass and everything but then it never snows in hyrule like i played this game over winter and it didn't snow once Yeah, river might have been quicker. Just coming out of river could uh, that would fix the time of day as they said, so that would have been a interesting move. Well luckily it looks like it's about to turn day, so purple won't have to wait too long. I'm just going to spend some time opening out of this boulder of destiny, which sounds reasonable. Yeah, it's like, with where you're at, you might as well get that one extra hint, make sure you aren't missing anything. Especially with, what, at least one more foolish on the board? Uh, we've only got, yeah, one more foolish to go. And there's a bow, which is pretty nice find. There's a, that's a bomb-locked bow, and we, we are expecting, or we kind of know, that bombs are way of the hero. So, I don't think whatever we're going to be fine, unless the hammer is not bomb-locked. Potentially, not going to be bow-locked. That would put too many steps. Ha! 
Okay, purple okay. is at the Temple of Time entrance, about we're, to go paddle. We're doing it, slowly but surely. Oh man, you always forget how much of the travel time is until you have to do the age change to get a bottle. Yeah, yeah, that was that would have felt like a, a lifetime for purple just there. Trying to go quick. Now, what would be really fun for Oxyman if he decides to do the whole of Dabongo's cavern, but the first item is an empty bottle? That would be icy. Oxyman yeah. would, like, catch up, like, minutes if he finds a bottle before Ruto's letter. As long as he knows how to do kind of like shieldless um, King Wheat skin. Which isn't uh, overly difficult for those wondering. You just do the setup as normal, you do the jump slap, and you would do instead of shielding, you just spam your nut button. You just like keep mapping the, the nut button, um, and you'll get in the position that you should be. Ravage Village is as we do I do have a habit for some reason. I don't know why. It might be because I'm slightly sick in the head. But <laughs> I do keep calling it Ravaged Victim. <laughs> well, there are a lot of victims of the Kakariko. <laughs> Village fire, so. <laughs> Every time I say it, I'm like, why do I say that? That's just like really, really bizarre thing to say. It's like uh, that's a that's a little that's a little messed up. Okay, even more walking from purple as we need to walk all the way back. It actually would have been um, an interesting. Move. I actually don't know if purple did it, but you could have planted a bean. Here and use the beam to go all the way back up. That would have saved you some time. Yeah, I just see is uh, Wanderer. Um, we did find a outside Ganon's castle sometimes. Yeah, I bet that whatever Zingan's castle is like, eh, Bo. Like, like I, I feel like that bow we just found in the Boulder of Destiny is going to be important. Mm, okay, interesting. Oh, I really hope this place cavern item is dumb. I really hope it's dumb item. I saw Jack saying slingshot in the chat. <laughs> that would be so funny. Child spirit logic, something like that. Or just go back, beat Goma. <laughs> Which would also be pretty funny. How about, um, okay, how about, no. I was thinking, what about like iron boots? <laughs> Even though water is foolish. God, iron boots would be so dumb. They thank God that we have water foolish today, so that we just don't have to worry about them. Okay, Oxyman went all the way around, but didn't find anything healing. Going all the way. Is purple to do these fountain checks? Only gonna do the iceberg, just rushing that uh, ice cap. Yeah, also gonna double check this hint here. Yep, Jobby Jobby's belly. Still uh, foolish. That'd be nice if you didn't find the Jabu hint and you're like, I'm gonna go into Jabu. And then it's like, no, it's foolish. Like, no, save yourself. <laughs> Try to climb up here and doing the jump slash with the big Goron sword is difficult because you probably know you need to pull out the big Goron sword before you can jump slash and it just takes too much time. 
This one, you can actually, this iceberg, the second one, you can just climb it for free. The four foolishes are River, Jabu, Water, and Gerudo's Fortress. Yeah, Gerudo's Fortress was on the graveyard, hint. So, Oxyman's doing King Dodongo, even though they've picked up the letter. See, I think this is... This is one of the good, good, good example of how the difference between Triforce Blitz and something like Standard. If you were playing a Standard Siege, you know, you'd say to yourself, "Oh, you're here. You might as well kill, you know, King Dodongo because King Dodongo might have you know, a strength or something." But you've already got an item that you know you need for Ice Cavern, and in Triforce Blitz, you do what Purple would do, and I think it's a strong move and, and leave and not bother with King Dodongo, so you've got to be, and I was speaking to a few people about this, Triforce Blitz is all about being aggressive but not reckless. Like, leaving DC is aggressive, but it's not reckless. I think it's very calculated. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely, like, the only reason I can see to go through to King Dodongo is, like I said, if you think you're behind and you think your best bet is finding an empty bottle rather than running all the way back, turning in that bottle. Because the time that it would take to take down King Dodongo would be shorter than it would be to run to King Zora, turn in the letter, and run all the way back. Yeah, it would be, but your odds are, what, three in... 300, or how many checks there are, 3 and 200. Totally, totally low. And it already takes you 30 seconds to kill King Dodonga and go through the cutscene, and that time could have been spent walking. But Oxymon is actually... Well, Oxymon is killing King Dodongo because he's going to go in inside Ganon's castle, which I didn't really think about. Um, but, yeah, again, I think you need to be in... Remember, Wanderers are... I think with Wanderers... I think how I view Wanderers is that if you find if you go into a Wanderer location, you know that it's you're going to find something interesting. But whether it's helpful or not is beta. It's almost like you know you're just not doing a foolish location. Yeah, it's going to be oh, here's one of our bottles. So oh, hello. In the ice cavern itself. <laughs> Hi, bottle. So there's one less bottle we will find out in the universe. I was going to say, it's not a big hoe, but... No, it's not. Just an, just an empty bottle that someone... Or a red potion bottle. Someone just left here. Well, here's a big chest. And here's a slingshot. Oh, there you go. God. Yep. There's, there's your, you know, finding items, but they don't, they don't aren't necessarily useful items. Yeah, that's definitely that bottle is 100% not our. Here's another big chest. And, and bomb shoes. Okay, so we're having to do all of it, which is fine. All of Ice Cavern because you get the song anyway. Might be a good song. It might just be the song, you never know. Yeah, it could. Um, could be Bolero for our logical fire access. Or Requiem for our logical spirit access. And here we go. We are pushing the block. Purple knows how to entertain the fans by pushing the block in Ice Cavern rather than doing the glitchless jumps. What's the point? You may as well do it the way that the developers intend to do. We love this stupid block push puzzle. <laughs> I think kind of it's ridiculous. Also, Purple does have a bomb bag, so could have ground jumped this rather than pushing the block. Uh, interestingly, Oxyman not doing hookshotless spirit. It's quite a difficult trick to do. Not a... I think definitely fewer people know it than, than do know it, so... Oh, and Purple got to... iced! Those icy boys and gals. 
love to freeze our buttocks. Purple almost jumped into the void then. Just, just hurl yourself right into the pit, Purple. The Oxman took time going into Ganon's castle and only found disappointment. Uh, yeah, you, you know that that slingshot is just for dagger tree logic or something. Could be spirit key logic. Or spirit key logic, yeah. Spirit key logic intensifies. Yeah. We have choose, so we could do the child stuff in spirit without a bomb, without a uh, slingshot. Shamak saying, incoming requiem. Let's wait and see to see if this is a big chest. What happens if both the song is Requiem and we get a hookshot here? <laughs> well, it is a small chest. So nothing. don't need to worry about that. And yep, there's Requiem. Okay, all of you people, take your filthy Requiem points. Oh, come on, Requiem peeps! <laughs> woo, 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 woo. <laughs> we did it. Give me the cash. Look at that, I even get named in the prediction as well. Get a name. Look at you, big spender. <laughs> <laughs> All the right, only reason let's why I have loads of money is that I just get them from Tobias because he <laughs> likes burgers. And Purple going to grab this last hint over here if those little creatures will leave him alone. There was a, a, a quiver on top of the arch. So another bow on top of the Colossus archway. Okay, here we go. Go in child. Let's see what's in the spirit temple. Yeah, either the piece will be here and it'll be over shortly, or we're in Casino for another strike, which would be hilarious in my opinion. Well, we know that we have some time since, so even if there's not a strength, which I don't think there is, we were going to find Wanderer strength, so the playthrough would want us to pick up two strengths, so... There's going to be strength somewhere, so I think if you're looking for strength, you need to, or if you need a strength, you need to rush as many hints as possible. Go to every single hint stone to find out which location you need to be in to find that strength. And we do have another prediction up. So where do you think the piece is in child climb or in spirit? Is it in child climb, adult climb, or is it mirror locked? Mel, I did read hint stones. I just didn't read the correct hint stone yesterday. That was my problem. Uh, that's that's how they get you, you know? You think one word's there, but it's actually another. <laughs> I think we're going to find zero keys in Child Spirit. I don't know why, I just have a feeling. And no Triforce pieces. It's going to be dead. I just have a really, really good feeling about casino mode. Maybe I just want this match to go just a little bit longer. Like, you know, one hour is fine, but it would be nice to go just a little bit longer. All right, we got a key. That's boring. <laughs> <laughs> I want it to be completely adult locked. <laughs> Let's see what this is. Oh, interesting setup. 
Oh, the oh, it's the fairy outside Hyrule Castle. It's from bushes. And Purple here's a big cat. Bushes. <laughs> the stealth foe's out. And, and there, there it is. is. With a time of 54-ish minutes and 40 seconds. Herbal collects three Triforce pieces, and it is today's winner, winner of game two, going 2-0 and oh and moving on to the next round in the Wanderer bracket. Congratulations. Yes. It, that was that that was just a beautiful example of just amazing ability to follow the hint and to know when to ditch and when to continue on like like that that was just awesome logic i think if you had a race room of 100 people uh doing that i think purple would have been top three in that race I oh that yeah easily absolutely ex outstanding showcase from purple just really understanding the logic which is really purple strong so you see them in chat all the time on silver Bond, just you know, correcting the commentators when we don't know what's going on. And they just have a, a great mindset. And also execution-wise as well, probably not Purple's big strong point, but really nailed the execution stay, which was really good. Yeah, yeah, it was it, it was great. And Oxman also gave us a really, really good showing. Um, it just came down to Purple making the calls to ditch out of places earlier than Oxman did. Yeah, maybe Oxman's uh, problem today was just being a, a little bit too safe um, and probably not being as aggressive as what Purple has been. So, Purple going 2 0. They are moving into round two and they will play the winner of Netherian versus Renata, um, who have not played a game yet. They are still uh, waiting for their game one match to happen. Uh, so Purple will play the winner of the Therian versus Renata. GG's. GG's. Yeah, um, do we know, are we getting Purple and or Oxyman in here for an interview? Let's have a quick look at the race time room. Are they chilling somewhere? They're in, I could just drag them in. Oh, hey Purple. Hello Purple, GG's. Hello. <laughs> Big congratulations, Purple. Wasn't you... expecting that. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was repeater. I don't know what I'm going to do for the next hour of my day, but uh, won't be watching this match. Seeing as you you've absolutely uh, ready for this, blitzed it. Did you get it? Uh... Oh, shut up. <laughs> We've got a time my zone for people like you. So, Purple, you. Uh, how do you feel like that you, that uh, went today? What was your kind of thought process as you were playing the seed? Well, I was mostly panicking because it was going so quickly. Um, <laughs> um, I think I got really lucky with the, the Kukiri sword to the Deku piece. Because I only really did that because I was really worried about the logic of end up the bombs in the bottom of the well. Yeah, which, that was which, really I mean, which, which I which I shouldn't have been at all. Um, we, we never found a cack, uh, We never found a power path anywhere. So well, cack must have been path to power. Must, yeah, must so be we're true. assuming that that would have been that path in somewhere in the world. But yeah, without the kind of path to your that hints your knowledge, kind of taking the Kakiri sword to Deku Tree might be a little bit of a risk, but. Yeah, with it being what a one step and Kakiri sword being Sphere Zero, I think it was I think it was a safe yeah. bet. We know Deku's a nice place to go to. Yeah, and it's a lot of checks. Um, yeah. Talk yeah. us about your um uh thought process in uh the Dodongo's cavern. So you decided to skip so the I... extraneous checks and go straight to Dodongo himself. So I was figuring that bombs were path and there was also a strength available. So that pointed to the last two checks. I realized later that that wasn't quite right because you also need bombs to go up river as child to turn in letter. Um, oh, yeah. So, 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 so may, may, maybe my thought process wasn't quite right there, but I think 
I think it still sort of pointed to those those two checks, even if it wasn't hard to acquire to be those two. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah. Maybe, maybe there's a scale somewhere else in the overworld. That's it. And the bomb bag was pointing to those, those back too. I don't, I don't know. Um, yeah. Also, for a, more than half a seed, I was terrified by the Cac Wanderer hint because, as far as I could tell, that was only for magic. Yeah, that's and I have a no idea what place. I've no idea what that means. I've got nothing. It must must be for slingshot or something like that. But... So inside Ganon's castle is Wanderer, and there is a slingshot in oh. there. Um, but I, somebody but that... in the chat just said it could have been just like magic to complete Shadow Temple. Oh no, there was another magic in. The well, though, wasn't there? That wasn't magic. Loss, yeah, though. it wouldn't be magic path. But it was magic yeah. wanderer. So it used magic for oh, something. Yeah. Mm. yeah, it might have just I mean, been. I, get, I guess it could have been using it for. Slingshot. But why? Why was that slingshot locked by magic? It's because I don't know. I mean, it, it would have just been the the game just goes. Oh, how can I beat the seed? Oh, I can beat shadow potentially. The wanderers no, are not yeah. smart. That would go... be a, a new level of special for the, yeah. for the, for the random <laughs> but the master, are very special. <laughs> Additionally, Chad is mentioning that the Cac Wanderer could have been on 10 skulls since we didn't see that check. Um, so that's yeah. still a possibility. Did you see Adult Archery? Because I, I almost stopped and did the Adult Archery on my way past, but I decided, I decided no, and that would be, that we would did be too much. not. Okay, no, so it could be that much. too. Yeah, it makes sense. And I think another thing that you did quite well to see as well was you went into well pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. I busted the wrong underwater check. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Were you waiting for the well to drain at the time? So you're like, oh, I'll go to the other one first. I'd, well, I, I'd, seen the, I'd seen the front check was a big chest. Yeah. So, I mean, I'd, so I rushed, rushed, rushed to the back to lower the water, rushed back to the front to open it, and it was nothing. Yeah, it was kind of funny watching you in the well because those first like three yep. items you got were just all disappointment after disappointment. It was almost baited the well. Yeah, it was right at the last yeah. moment that the well saved us. Yeah. But yeah, I think we were, we were just saying before you came in that I think you played this really well, I think. There is not a single mistake that you made in this scene. I think you rushed the right things. You were aggressive in the right places. You it's scary leaving all the checks. The graveyard. Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah. I, it's like there are literally thirty checks I've run past this seed. Any one of them could have could have a wanderer hook shot or something, and I'm completely yeah. fucked. When um, you were in ice, so we had a prediction. Um, in chat on what was going to be in ice. What was kind of your thought process when you were in ice? What were you expecting? I was still thinking about the the wand of magic. So I was thinking it was going to be Requiem and then the piece was going to be in one of the fire lock checks in Spirit. Mm -hmm. So I, I was expecting I'll get a key on Child's Side Spirit and I'll have to climb and one of those two climb checks will be my piece. So I, was, I wasn't surprised it was in Spirit but I was shocked when I opened that big chest and it gave, the game's over. Yeah, and that was it. Yeah. Uh, so that, that's what I was expecting. Um, uh, or maybe a bonus for GTG. I was, I was thinking through every possibility of what, what, what stupid thing it could be. Could have been Bolero for the first check in fire or Barriers for some stupid reason. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, we got a Ponus. Not sure. no, it, couldn't, it couldn't have been Salius. A Ponus was on Burning Cack. Oh, okay. Yeah, we got a hint for that. Um, What's that? Yeah, I think the oh, I thought my done Salius on Burning Cack. Okay, I got that wrong. <laughs> uh, I think the only oh, doesn't matter. Was, was going to be that it was something for Spirit, whether it was Requiem. I never or... checked my medallions anyway. <laughs> no. You both... I, I read, I read the pedestal, but I, I never, never looked at what, what it was. Yeah, you both scrolled through it really quickly, and yeah, in this seed, it didn't really matter what was on there because 
it was yeah I, I do that but so i if i need to check later i always have it yeah but that's I, quite smart i mean there's i didn't want to spend the i mean i i can't i'm not good enough to to mark my down as well playing at full speed so i didn't want to lose the 20 seconds well i don't know you were, a, you were a good what maybe where was oxen in the end still on their way to ice cavern i think so you yeah were, i think uh, that oxman had just come back from turning in the letter or was just on his way to mm -hmm. turn in the letter one, one of the two yeah yeah okay yeah so. oxman did the whole of dc um uh, yeah which was one of the things i i, I knew it had to be the letter in dc <laughs> yes. the only thing it could be it's the only thing it could be yeah, we were like, it's um, definitely the last bit. If it's something else, something is broke. <laughs> yeah, I guess I just sort of locked out doing one check in DC and leaving. What was, um when um, you saw the pathins, so the, the, what was it, one, two, five, what was kind of going through your head at that point? Uh, just blind panic. Just... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, I think I think all my the seeds in the tournament so far have been long, horrible, awful, 20 path things that have finished with one and two pieces. Mm. Um, and so this is a completely different seed. I've actually not played, even, even in practice, I haven't had many seeds that I've finished under two hours, let alone under one hour. Mm. This, this was quite a different experience. Um, yeah, 100%. Do you find that you prefer, like, more path counts or shorter path counts after playing this seed. Oh, every seed is terrible in its own way. <laughs> good answer. Good answer. I, I I I enjoy the the higher path counts and and figuring out what the logic can be and what it has to be and having more time to think about the seed. Um. But also, I mean, it feels really good to blast out a seed in what like, fifty-four minutes. Yeah, that's kind of one of the know. nice things about that, these blitz I mean, that, seeds. I mean, that, you can that, just that, kind that, of. It feels really satisfying to do that. Yeah, yeah definitely. Um. So um, next, uh, so you're moving into round two of the Wonder Bracket with this win. Your opponents being Netherian or Renata. I don't know if you know anything about either of those, if there's uh, a preference or I, I don't think I know anything about either of them. Yeah, oh going in blind. <laughs> Exciting. You'll be watching their matches with an eagle eye, I suspect. <laughs> Something like that. Um, you did the seed so quickly that we haven't yet actually thanked everybody who was part of this today so thank you for purple smashing it today oxymon commiserations for the, uh, this race we've also got some trackers who've been tracking the tracks in lady draco and shadok so thank you behind the scenes our restreamer today is hell knight so thank you to hell knight and me and sadie have been Blessing your ears with our wonderful, wonderful sounds. Yeah, it's truly been a wonderful race today. I am also excited to finally calm for a short race and not some sort of like 17 path count monster. Um, so that was exciting for me as well. And uh, just GG's again, Purple. Like that was incredible. And we wish you luck on the rest of your matches. Thank you. And, and thanks for the restream. No worries. It was really, really good fun. Um, what have we got next on the Silver Gauntlets? I don't know if we've got any matches coming up later on today, but the schedule is absolutely packed with Triforce Blitz matches coming out of our ears. There are loads and loads of matches over the next two days, so keep an eye out on the Silver Gauntlets for even more Triforce Blitzing. Um, and otherwise, we'll see you all on the other side.
Yeah, as a reminder, um, if you are a volunteer, please check out the spreadsheet to see if you're able to sign up for any of these matches. Um, and otherwise, the link to join our Discord is in chat. If you've enjoyed this today, feel free to come join us. We love new 